FirstCoast.tv, and I'm with... Gregory Von Hausch. I'm the director of the St. Augustine Film Festival, now celebrating our seventh year. Wow, seven years. This film festival set, oh my God, yeah. time flies. And how do you, when you look at from the first one to now, what is the it, difference? Well, first of all, it's a miracle that we're here today because it, Years ago, when we first started, nobody came. Nobody knew what a film festival was. Oh my they God. thought we were showing student films because we called ourselves the Flagler College Film Festival because they hosted us. Oh. And so people said, well, I don't want to go see student films, but we always show international films. Mm -hmm. uh, they're mainly from Europe, Asia, South America, uh, around the globe. And we, we do a little dabbling, like out of the 40 films, we might have three or four that are student films that we do as a service. But mainly they're international films uh, from all different, we always show them in their native language, which is great, it's the only way to see it, they're subtitled. We do have American independence and some Canadian independence, but the overall bulk of them are, are foreign language films. And I think that's so exciting, especially in, in a town that doesn't really have an outlet for that. Right, about how many films are you gonna have this year? We'll have uh, over 40. Wow. Um, yeah. So it's uh and there's and they range it's just like going to the movies because they can be comedies, thrillers, sexy movies, documentaries, uh a few shorts, uh, a little bit of everything. So if you love going to the movies because you like to escape and and have some kind of vicarious enjoyment of around the globe, film festivals perfect for you. All right. So we're talking the dates are October 9th um, October. <laughs> January uh 19 through uh, the 22nd. Okay. Now the 19th is reserved just for pass holders. So if you buy a little fast pass that has your picture on it, and your name on it, get you in and out of everything that you want to go to, um, that day's reserved for you so you don't have to fight the crowds. Right. And then for the general public, 20 through, tw through 22. So today's the 5th, so we're talking about two weeks from now. Yeah, it's yeah. creeping up on us. And yes. we're also for badge holders, we're doing something on Tuesday, October 17th at the Hilton Bayfront where it'll be a badge pickup day. So we have a little reception just for them. So if you're seeing this before the 17th, then get yourself a badge and join us at this free reception. And we could do all that, that whole process, we could do it on the website. You can, you can go to staugfilmfest.com and there's a little top thing there, go to tickets and you can uh, get it with your PayPal. If you don't want to say, I don't want to really see a lot of movies, but I would like to see a few. You can buy individual tickets there yes. as well. So yeah, uh, I saw that. We mm -hmm. we do, uh, and we have four. Not counting the thing at the Hilton, we have four great parties. We start off on the nineteenth um, uh, with a no parties that day, but we have films all day long at the Corazon, and then that night we have a free film at the Virginia Room called The Human. It's a French film and it really explores the family of man and how we got to be. And it's an epic tale that goes to like 20 different countries wow. uh, investigating. And that's free to the public and there'll be a round table discussion wow. afterwards. The next day we open up to the general public and we have uh, films all day at Corazon. Then we have cocktails and hors d'oeuvres at six o'clock at the Leitner. Then we Sweet. go across the street to the Lewis Auditorium and we see uh, the opening night film, which was a Romanian comedy called uh, Two Lottery Tickets, is hysterical <laughs> and it's US premiere. And then afterwards, the big opening night party is back at the Leitner. Now the next day, we've got films all day long. And that evening, we have our centerpiece party, which takes place at the new Collector Luxury Inn and Gardens. Which oh, where's be, this? It's, it's the old Dow property houses, oh. right on, uh, I guess, St. George Street. Okay. Um, uh, South St. George. Okay. It? And uh, and it's just fabulous. And we'll wow. have an outdoor party with some bluegrass music and uh, a lot of different things going on there. It should oh. be fun. And then the next day is our closing day, films all day long again. And then that night we have a, a rap party at the uh, Solarium atop Ponce Hall. Oh yeah, that's that's a beautiful room. Oh. Yeah, and I know I'll see you there at all <laughs> at First Coast TV, which covers us like a blanket. <laughs> but the other thing is, um, on your website we can we can actually see all the films and little synopsis on them, can we? Right, you can go there and you can see. Uh, read the synopsis, see pictures from them, and also get a trailer for every film. So you can see, awesome. you say, oh, oh, this sounds good. And you say, ah, oh, that's not for me. Oh, that's too sexy for me. Uh -huh. I don't like yeah, it. It's yeah. too sexy. Right. Oh, that's very exciting. Oh, that's too scary. Uh -huh. You know, there's, so you can check it out. 
Uh, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, I, I think, yeah, I, I, I'm from New York and I lived in Europe and film festivals have this, this little place in my heart. I think for um, filmmakers that are starting out, th this is such a way to show that, you know, not everything has to be a, a giant, you know, $50 million film. Right. It can be done with so little money and the story is always so strong and the, the, the director and the cinematographer, they have to be so creative because their resources are so, Absolutely. so lacking. Well, we have some gems. I told you a little bit about the Romanian film, mm -hmm. a lot of, two lottery tickets. Right after that's a French film. It is so sexy. You'll want to take a cold shower afterwards. <laughs> it, it, it's called One Wild Moment. Oh, and, the title alone. Yeah, and right. that is really Enticing. something. Next morning we have a film from Hungary called Demi Monde. It's a true story. It happened in, in the 19... Teens, and then after that we have a film called uh, *The Scent of Mandarin* from France. It takes place during right during World War One, and it is just gorgeous. It won Best Cinematography, uh, Best Cinematography at our festival. Mm -hmm. uh, right after that we have a world premiere of a new film called uh, *The Clandestine Man*, and it's a true story of Stetson Kennedy. And a lot of people around here know Stetson. He just passed away. His widow still lives here, and she'll be coming to it. And Stetson infiltrated the KKK back mm -hmm. in the 1950s wow. as a writer uh, covering them, mm -hmm. and they had no idea. They just thought he was a good old boy, you yeah, know? Yeah. And it is, it'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Wow. wow. Uh, and later that night, uh, one from Chile called uh, Mirage de Omor. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next day, we've got uh, one from Israel called A Wing and a Prayer. Okay. And we, oh, and there's a great film from New York called Tomorrow Ever After, and the directors will be here for that as well. Oh, Futuristic wow. comedy set in the present. Ah, and funny. we close with a, a Argentine film. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that. Yes. yes. Called uh, Una Noche de Amor. A and Night of Love. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a story about a, a couple that have been uh, married for 12 years. They've got two little kids. And they just want a night to themselves. <laughs> so they leave the kids with grandma. Oh, and they go out of the town for uh, a little night of their own. A little picadero. Uh -huh. And... Um, uh, best laid plans of mice yeah. event. Wow. So uh, Hernan Gurnashuni will be here and he'll uh, introduce his film mm -hmm. and then afterwards we have that party okay. uh, up at the uh, Solari. Solari. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. That is a great summary of that yeah. whole week uh, that's coming coming up. Uh, well, those uh, uh, that's Oh, that's your 19, 20, 20, 20, four days. Right. Yeah. And that's just a tip of it because, as I said, we yeah. have 40 films. Right, right. And everyone always has a, a favorite. I like to talk to people after and tell them, you know, because some people come and see quite a few of them, and they'll tell you which was their favorite or their favorites, and that's always fun. Well, I thank you. First Coast Out to be thank you for taking this time and sort of giving us, you know, the gist of what this is all going to be about. And it seems like it's going to be wonderful. Wow. And um, I, I just can't wait. So well, I look I forward think. to seeing you at the movies. <laughs> All right, sir. I shall be there. Thank you again.